Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Navigate the process of migrating your WordPress site to GoDaddy with ease. This guide offers a comprehensive walkthrough covering everything from backup creation to transferring files and databases, allowing you to transition your site smoothly. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the actual thing that I will need you guys to start with is to have a WordPress website. So here, this is WordPress.com, simply click on get started or log in to your own website if you do have one already created. As you can see, I have one, so I will just log in into my own account. Now, after that, let me just accept all cookies and as you can see, so here we are guys now the thing that you need to, to know before you manage to buy a domain from godaddy which we're gonna talk about later on in this video and how to connect everything is wordpress now is a little bit more paid than it was so to connect your domain name now you should pay extra money so you have to upgrade your plan even to add any plugins you have to upgrade your plan as well so let me show you real quick how does it work exactly Let's start with this thing over here, as you can see. So here you will find free domain with an annual plan. Now for us, we don't want to get an annual plan to get a free domain, but we want to actually add a domain of ourselves. So here, now I will just search for a domain and simply now what I'm going to do is search for a domain that I want from GoDaddy. Now we have to go to GoDaddy and get a domain from them to get a domain from GoDaddy is pretty simple create an account first which is very easy you can just log in using your uh, google facebook any account on social media that accepts this is accepted by GoDaddy platform the next thing is to basically head up here and type the name of the domain that you desire and want so in my case i will search for example for cd ali and then i will just simply go to the next step so here there is a lot of like um, domains so I'm going with this one for example this one is pretty cheap it is around 0.99 it is the ali.sar which is perfect for e-commerce click on it this domain is not available <laughs> okay I'm unlucky so let's check this one all right I don't think I want it so let's get this one I think this one is available 100% it is available. Yeah, 100% it should be available. So now here guys, make sure to remove every single thing. So no domain protection, no professional email, and as you can see, click on continue to cart. This is the first thing to do uh, in here. So, uh, sorry, uh, what happened? I don't know. So now let me just remove everything that I don't want to have. So remove from carts. This one, it should. Yeah, this one as well and now so this is all I have I have only the domain that I want to buy which is this one so sell so, there is this price which is extremely not the one that I have decided to get it at the first place this one is a hundred times more expensive than what I was looking at or it is 120 more time more expensive so what I should do is to simply click here and change the date from five years to one year and as you can see, it went from $120 to $1.992. So now, as you can see, you simply have to click on either one of these two options. The first one will take you to PayPal. The second one is basically going to take you to pay uh, like with your own credit card, as you can see here. So this is something that you have to bear in mind. And then the next thing to do is basically to check your inbox because you will receive the receipt and the dashboard and everything in your inbox after you do so and in case you didn't find it you can simply head up back to GoDaddy click on your account right here go to your products click on my products and as you can see here it should be good to go so now as you would uh, eventually notice that my domain is here and it is connected and everything is perfect with it so now I have to connect it with this one so I will just copy it paste it here and now let's just wait uh, I own it then now as you can see you will have two options 
the first option is to connect your domain from GoDaddy to the uh, WordPress so it's gonna be uh, keep your current provider and at the same time it will give you a free SSL certificate included for free so this is something and another thing is to transfer your domain so your domain it should be transferred from your WordPress website into your own or from your good idea website into your WordPress website but here as you can see my domain can't be transferred because it was registered less than 60 days ago but you can connect it instead so in case your domain was recently bought you can't re like really uh, transfer it and we don't really care about transferring it because this video is all about connection so click here select as you can see and now we have to choose the plan so let's keep it simple so this is WordPress premium we have to get it for one year we can't really uh, get it for one month or something like that and uh, this is basically what you are going to get from it so they are going to give us a free dot online website domain name with it and dot tour with it uh, with a lot of other stuff so let's keep it as it is Put here your postal code and select the payment card and you will be good to go. Right after that, just simply click on the DNS because they will give you some DNS that you will need to connect as you can see. And normally the DNS of like, let me show you here, WordPress DNS, what is your DNS records? So the DNS are going to be something like that. So it's going to be somewhere like your site.wordpress.com that you will have to add it to your own website on like your own dashboard on your own website it could also have some stuff like that which will include tname uh, at or at or domain connect depending on what kind of thing you've chosen and also it could be name servers so you can simply find name servers instead of uh, DNS records so uh, here we should simply for example click on add record so this is a brand tutorial about how to add the records in case you didn't know how to add your record you can simply follow this step by step uh, article that is made by WordPress themselves on how you can add their records into your own domain so you can connect your domain with your WordPress website on WordPress so it is a very straightforward step nothing complicated about it and then you will be good to go the only thing guys is it can take three minutes or five minutes before the DNS will be updated in the net and then after that you can simply just write and tap your own type your own like domain name and you will find uh, your website connecting uh, or your domain and redirecting you to your own website on WordPress so guys that was it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial